right now it is like 6 30 at night and i just got an amazon package and so i'm going to show you what is in this amazon package um i ordered some more water wipes let's see if i can pick it up here so i use this type of brand wipes water wipes for my baby and um i order about 54 of them um they last us at least a couple weeks so every paycheck I get, I try to get at least a thing of wipes in the mail. And then I also ordered, this is a big thing, uh, Pampers Swaddlers. I ordered size 3. My baby is in size 2 right now, but um, I have an Amazon diaper discount. So I'm taking advantage of it and ordering, every time I get a paycheck, I order a box of diapers. Um, so right now he's in size 2. We have like three boxes of size 2 he's using. And then once he's ready for size 3, we've got a size 3 ready. And then, um, I also got some more of these. So these are the type of bottles he uses. He uses the silicone bottles from Nano Beauty. And I've been using three of them and just washing them over and over and over. And it's been a pain. Like, every two hours I have to keep washing three more bottles and stuff like that. So I got three more of those. And so, yeah. That was in our fun little Amazon package. Um, every time I get a paycheck, I try to get a thing of diapers and a thing of wipes from Amazon. Um, if you order them soon enough in the morning, you uh, will get them pretty much the next, like that same day, just in the evening. So yeah, I use water wipes. I use. I also use Eden diapers too. I use the Eden brand, and I use Pampers Swaddlers. So those are the two brands that my baby's comfortable with and pretty, pretty spendy. Well, not really that spendy, I guess. It's like $28 for, for a box. Um, so I know it's kind of dark, but it's like later, it's like 630. I'm trying to calm everything down in my house for my baby, calm things down. And then once I'm done here, we're going to go and read a book and then we're going to go to bed because it's going to be time for his bedtime soon. He's actually just waking up from a nap. So we're actually going to do a little bit of tummy time in the bedroom, hang out in the bedroom, spend some time there. And then hopefully as we're doing that, he'll fall asleep. So that's the goal. That was in our fun little Amazon package. See Panther Swaddler right there. And so, yeah. Saturday, January 16th. I have to look at the date. <laughs> I am a first time mom with a two month old from Texas. And um, I want to do some of this vlog to show you what it's like to be a mom who is currently working from home during the coronavirus. Um, <clears throat> so, and this morning, I what I did was I got the bottles ready and I sanitized them. On my Instagram, I showed there's a video on there where I show you how I sanitize my bottles. And then um, I also, um, what else did I do this morning? Oh, I fed the dog and took him outside. I'm sorry, I'm making sure my work computer doesn't die. So I'm currently work from home right now. I can't really show you what I'm doing for work. So if you see me look away, I'm making sure it doesn't die. <laughs> um, I guess I got out of the shower. I don't have any makeup on because what's the point of wasting makeup when you're working from home? And so, and pretty much we're just going to spend all day at home. That's what we do pretty much on the weekdays. We spend time at home because of the coronavirus and we don't really want to go anywhere. Um, my week, today is technically my Friday for work. It is Saturday, but it's my Friday. So tomorrow starts my weekend. We have some good plan, good stuff planned for tomorrow. And Monday, we have to go to Camp Mabry because I'm in the military. And our insurance didn't go through 
for our baby's hospital bills. So we gotta go deal with that stuff. Um, what else is happening today? Oh, I am making a basket for all our blankets. I wrote basket and I will show you a little clip on that and what I'm doing. Um, so, oh yeah, I made a bottle for my husband because right now he, the baby's sleeping with him. So uh, that's like their bonding time is in the morning with the mom, dad and the baby. That's their bonding time. So I respect that time and I give that time to them. So I just make a bottle for the baby so when he wakes up, my husband can feed him and change him and do the bonding time with him while I'm working. Because at night, my husband works at night. So I work during the day, he works at night. So at night is my bonding time with the baby. Um, so yeah. Uh, let's see what else did I do. So I think that's all. I'm gonna put in this segment. Um, yeah, we're gonna go on walks today. We're gonna do work from home. Um, we're gonna be a doggy o. Yeah, my dog. My dog is being a lazy dog right now. But um, I want to show you how it is to work from home while being a first time mom. Hey guys, it's like many hours later. We're gonna go for a walk. Uh, I'm bringing my husband and we're bringing our dog. He, can't, he doesn't really wave. So we're gonna go for a walk, our daily walk with the baby. Sorry, he kind of like ran into the ground. He's waiting for me. I gotta go. guys so it's many many hours later I just got off work and um, I just want to say that working with a two-month-old I am so lucky that my husband is here to help during the day um, but I help when I can and I make sure that it doesn't bother my work performance as much either um, so it is after four o'clock and little baby just woke up today at four 30 ish so now we're just chilling on the couch what I did today also was I completed my blanket box where we would put our baby blankets in for his book nook and I will include a little uh, photo here in the corner uh, showing you a picture of the box I made today for his little book nook area um, so yeah it is four o'clock and we are going to get ready to go for a little walk, another walk. Um, we go for a walk, we go for two walks, maybe three walks a day. Um, so, yes. Let's okay guys, I thought I would show you um, William's book nook area. So we have the little sign read. I got all those letters from Walmart and I hot glued them to that board right there. Um, we got this house for Christmas from William's grandmother and I made that for my well we got that as a gift and then the tree back there I made that during Christmas so I do a lot of DIYs like this right here is a DIY for me um so this is we got these crates at Walmart for like a dollar fifty my husband made this too for William we got a lot of these books from half price books Amazon um and so on and so forth and down here is his baby bed that we lay him on when we read his book. And right here is a basket that I made today. I made that basket to put all our blankets in. So I need, I wanted a basket to put blankets in. I made the basket out of the Pampers box and I just put rope around it and I did a little cloth inside. And then over here is the baby laundry basket because baby skin is so sensitive. We separate the baby clothes. And then on top of that is a baby bag 
that we take with us. And then right here is his Nano BB container. And his little poster that we got from his book club that we do. We do a virtual book club with the baby. Um, in this little crate, we have uh, the, the giraffe that we got from a friend. And I really love it, but look at the look. It looks so angry, but it's, when you shake it, it wiggles. And that's just so cute. Um, we also have more books that we got from Amazon. half price books from his book club. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. And Goodwill. We got this one at Goodwill. And this one at Goodwill. Yeah, my baby's in the back talking to himself. There you go. And then last, I got this when I was baptized, and I got this when I was baptized. So I'm passing it down to my son. And then my husband got this little decoration plant for this. So yeah, this is his little book nook area. I keep my shoes here too. <laughs> I think it's cool. I think it's cool that you should have a book nook for your children. Even if you haven't started yet, I would suggest you start one to make reading fun. And so every night we pull out one to three books. It takes about, sometimes it takes three books to help my son go to sleep. Sometimes it takes one. So, yeah. Yep. <laughs> hey guys, so we're going to go on our last evening walk for the day. Um, we're going to go around the neighborhood. We're going to stop at the mailbox. Um, this time we are not bringing the dog. Sorry, I'm trying to find my baby's pacifier. We're not bringing the dog. So, yeah, um, found it. There you go. There you go. Yeah. So he's all in there. So we'll keep walking. Are back from our run and it's getting dark out um he actually passed out so i'm keeping him in his carrier while he's sleeping um so i'm gonna end the video here and this vlog here i really hope it's long enough um i hope you enjoyed this vlog um please like comment subscribe um so yeah i hope you enjoyed this day and yeah Please let me know if you have any questions or um, you want to check out William's uh, book wish list. We love books. As you saw, we had that book nook. We love books. So if you have any books you want to suggest or get William any books, check out his wish list in the, wish list in the description. And so everybody have a good day. And remember moms, you're doing good. Don't give up. Mm -hmm.